Hello everyone! Now one of the latest updates has provided some new legendaries for Crusader, and by the developer's own admission, these are focusing on Condemned and empowering your primary attack. Now Condemned PvP meta is very much Vortex for the interrupt and the defensive capabilities, but I've been very curious at some of these legendaries and the combination of them to see how viable they are for a PvP build and also for PvE. Let's get into it. So having a look at this PvE DPS build that we've got, Holy Banner on the helmet, that is a pretty stock standard. Uh, we're using Judgment with the Summon to get a really handy second guy doing heaps of attack. Uh, we have the Horn Splitter, which is one of the new ones. Sacred Fire ignites enemies with burn damage. And the next three are all Condemned. Uh, Condemned now does a primary attack, lightning damage. Condemned now does harmful effect increased damage, and the shield applies a blind using Condemned. Now, this turns Condemned into a primary attack buff. It increases the damage, it does a lightning attack on the primary damage, it blinds via the primary damage, and it increases primary attack damage for each affliction that they have. So this really interests me as a build because Condemned now is a huge primary attack buff. The chest turns Condemned into a primary attack lightning strike. The pants turn primary attack into a increased damage per affliction. Now depending on your build and your playstyle that can be very very handy. And a new shield turns the condemned primary attack into a instant blind per attack on an enemy now that enemy can't be affected by that um within three seconds of using it but the blind acts for 1.7 seconds and this is really interesting the blind effect is a total stun which procs chip of stone flesh so between the blind uh, your invocations doing stun, your seeping bile, you can very, very easily get upwards of 30 to 56% increased primary attack damage. Now, this was very, very interesting. Oh, and coupled with the horn splitter, may I add, which applies bleed damage, which is an, another affliction. So you could have anywhere between four to five afflictions giving you that maximum 56% primary attack damage. Now, is that viable? Let's have a look. So here we have an attack where I just turn on Condemn. Now Condemn's buffing the primary attack with the afflictions, the increased damage. We do one strike, the lightning strike hits them, the blind gets attached to it. You can see their daze, the blue at the top means they're blinded. Now the horn splitter is doing the bleed damage. It does melt things ridiculously quick. And another example here, again just Condemned, one hit, the lightning hits, and everything is blinded. It's being bled because of the horn splitter as well. But for six seconds, we have the buff and we have the increased lightning. So in terms of a skill rotation for PvPe, we are using the new legendary Falling Sword as well, because that gives us a 10% increased damage for 3 seconds after landing Falling Sword. So Holy Banner for the crit, we throw Judgment into the area we want to land on beforehand for the stun. Now I'm using the Summoner, so we've got another guy there applying dps the fallen sword legendary doing the pro attack damage increase and then all of the condemned chest pants and shield doing the lightning strike up increasing the damage per affliction and then the shield applying the blind now between all of them you should have a stun you should have a bleed from the sacred fire you should have a blind and with seeping bile and chip of stone flesh we've got at least four to five afflictions there it turns into a little bit of a primary attack melter now the judgment you could potentially swap out of any number of things the uh falling uh, sorry the spinning shield um if you wanted a little bit of range as well but this is definitely curse the area jump on the area 
melt the area. So as an example, we throw Judgment. Now the Judgment of the Clone still stuns, which is great. We do Fallen Sword to get the increased damage. Holy Banner, which we probably should have done beforehand. And then the Condemned to strike everything. Everything melts. Now the cool thing with this is that is it's a great... Um, DPS increase for bosses. They're usually with Crusader, when the bosses come along, we just put up Holy Banner and then that's it. But with this build, we are viable as a massive DPS uh, option in groups for bosses as well as mobs. Now, is this viable for PvP? Well, that's really hard to tell at the moment because you do get a ridiculously, really strong primary attack damage but you are giving up condemn vortex and condemn vortex is a stable of most uh, shield charge vortex uh, frozen chain vortex vortex is such a great offensive and defensive skill set it is a huge ask to take this out of your arsenal or you definitely have to change your playstyle dramatically you don't have it you don't have Vortex as a backup. So here, I'm doing my Sacred Chain Spinning Shield build. We drop the Sacred Chain into the area. They leave the area, get stunned. We use the Spinning Shield to hook them back. We proc the Condemned, which gives us all of the bleed, affliction increase, primary attack damage, which is great, but I don't have any Condemned Vortex to interrupt them whilst they are up close which is vital for pvp because of the ridiculous focus on crowd control so of this one you can see here i'm chasing them down i've got the increase uh shield charge damage uh we have the skill rotation come back so we do the uh frozen chain again they leave the area they get stunned and then with my condemned i can hit them for a ridiculous, there's a 10, there's a 9, there's a bleed damage, so that was about a 21, 22k uh, final hit. So without the Vortex, you are left with your primary attack applying a stun mechanic. So we come in here for a shield charge. This is usually where I'd proc Condemn, but I'm just spamming primary attack in the hope that they are blinded instead of interrupted, and it does proc very quickly here i start hitting up the primary attack and then they're stunned now you can see here we're mounting them and yes there's a laser there as well but the primary attack increases after the blind do hit really really hard so again it's do you want to have your first hit blinding and then all the afflictions added thereafter or use vortex and it will depend on your play style it will depend on your comfort and it is still a really big sell a big ask given how prominent crowd control mechanics are within pvp so if giving up vortex on the chest is too much to ask thankfully this does pair with Vortex. So we've got the Shield Charge for the increased damage. We do Vortex. So now the Vortex damage is being increased per Affliction. It still is viable with your standard Vortex Shield Charge builds. Um, you're just not getting that ridiculously huge hit with the primary attack. Though you are still applying Bleed. But the Vortex affliction damage increase is being applied to the condemned vortex not the primary attack so this might still be a viable middle ground if you need vortex and you want to increase damage to that via the new shield and or via the new pant shield and pants but just keep the vortex on the chest feels like a best of both worlds especially when paired with horn splitter for the bleed which then condemned vortex will use as an affliction damage increase and the shield charge which will increase your damage anyway so in this example we're doing the frozen chains we are using the harpoon they get stunned we then proc vortex so they're stunned they bleed and uh chip of stone flesh applies they do melt and we do get a significantly higher condemned vortex damage output 
So that's a nice middle ground in terms of having the increased primary attack damage as well as the increased damage via these new condemned effects. Now in my experimentation tonight, I did try a DPS build applying all of the PvE um, ideas in terms of Holy Banner, uh, using the Falling Sword to jump on them, proccing Condemned to increase all my primary attack damage, and start whacking away proccing Blind. But it was really difficult because we're Crusaders, we're not tanks. And there's no vortex, so you are wide open for any type of CC or interruption. There were a few times where I was able to jump on the heads of people and melt with this new condemned primary attack ridiculous damage input. But having the sacrifice vortex just makes you so ridiculously vulnerable. And we're not tanks, we're crusaders. It's primary a support build. We don't have this, you know, we're way more squishier than a barbarian. It seemed to me like it was too much of an ask to drop vortex for the sake of increasing my primary attack damage. So a bit of a mixed bag, the PvE primary attack damage with holy banner judgment falling sword uh damage increase is a boss melter it's uh it's fun you do lose the mobility however um it's uh, especially without the steed in pvp yes the primary attack damage is ridiculous but you are squishy and you don't ha you're not a tank you're not a barbarian because the loss of vortex means you can be interrupted juggled uh so on and so forth the middle ground seems to be the horn splitter for the bleed and applying these new condemns to the chest vortex functionality to buff the vortex itself i had much more success and satisfaction not getting rid of vortex and having these applied because when you launch condemned it blinds everybody around you it's almost like a shield glare in that sense or the 360 shield glare that's my experimentation with these new legendaries let me know what you think let me know how you're doing with them or if there's any other build recommendations that you have with them as well peace